Nutsec has built a reputation for crafting one of the most versatile and practical messenger bags. They have a wide variety of everyday carry bags for just about everyone. A huge thanks to Matt for sending me the Jones 15 leather satchel for review. Something I would like to mention right away is that I love how this bag feels and I love the way it smells. The craftsmanship is beautiful. The Jones 15 leather satchel is one of Nutsack's most premium bags. You can pick this up in the 13 inch or 15 inch size, in either black or ox blood, which is a dark shade of red with some dark brown hues. The 13 inch goes for $490 and the 15 inch goes for $540. Now the bag does come with a lifetime warranty to keep your mind at ease and this bag is intended for those seeking a bag that will last them for a long time in a professional field. Now taking a look at the dimensions of the bag, this has a length of 15 inches, a width of 3.5 inches and a height of 10.5 inches. This bag is made from full grain mydon leather that is very soft and flexible. The leather is stuffed with oils and treated with hot wax to keep the beneficial oils in and moisture out. It also enhances the leather's self-healing characteristics, so if I rub my fingers on a crease, the oils will redistribute itself and blend into the bag, making the crease go away. The front of the bag features a loop closure that keeps the flap nice and secure. So on the bottom right is their logo without the nutsack name written on the leather. And this is great for those that will be taking it to a more professional setting, and that way you don't feel uncomfortable having nutsack written on your bag. This has antique brass hardware that suits the bag really well, and the inside is lined with canvas, the khaki color provides a high contrast which makes it easy to see what's inside the bag. So this is using YKK zippers which are one of the best zippers you can get, they are extremely dependable and durable. If you want to carry this like a briefcase you can, the handle strap doesn't stick out too much and the opening is wide enough to easily grab if you're ever in a hurry. There is no padding on here as long as the bag isn't over 20 pounds it should be comfortable to hold from there. Mine weighs in at 12 pounds and I've been fine walking around with it. Now I've been mainly using this with the shoulder strap to free up my hands. The detachable shoulder strap is made out of canvas and has some leather accents to match the bag. This has a really nice shoulder padding that is comfortable and provides a good amount of friction so it doesn't slide around on your shoulder. Now if you are going to be using the shoulder strap, I recommend flipping this metal latch inwards for one big reason. The metal pointy part here will dig into the back of your arm when you put your hand in your pocket and try to rest your arm on the bag. So the quick solution is to flip the metal latch so that the pointy part points into the bag. A good thing about the bag being full leather is that it is water resistant, so if you ever accidentally spill a cup of coffee or water on your bag, your content inside the bag will be okay. Now if you're in a hurry and forget to put the leather flap on, the zippers are concealed so if you're caught in some rain, your products will be okay. Now the back pocket can still get damp if you spill water on the back here, so just watch out for that. Now diving into the pockets of this bag, as a content creator, I will be showing you the stuff that I carry with me and hopefully it gives you an idea of what stuff it can fit in here. So let's start off with the interior. This has two small pockets that are about 6.5 inches wide and 7.5 inches deep. On the back here, there's a sleeve for your laptop and a zipper pocket. For the laptop sleeve, I have been keeping my 13 inch Surface Pro 8 that I use daily at work, but this will fit up to a 15 inch laptop. There's a thin layer of padding on the back here and not much padding at the very bottom so your laptop won't be protected from drops. Now if you are putting in a 13 inch laptop in here like I am, the laptop will fit in here with a case or a protective sleeve on. Now onto the zipper pockets, since I do a lot with video footage, I carry a 1TB portable SSD to store the videos that I will be filtering through, and I keep a short USB-C cable connected to it. I also keep my USB hub that gives me two USB-A ports, SD card slots, and a HDMI port. Another item that I like to keep in here is my USB flash drive, and this is where I keep my work documents and load presentations on. This pocket is a great place to keep my charging cables in. I keep a regular 60 watt charging cable and a USB-C 3.1 Thunderbolt cable to get the fast data transfer speeds and to connect to a portable display. So I've had this cable for a very long time and you can see some yellowish discoloration going on. I should probably replace it soon but it still works. Now the last cable that I carry in here is a USB-C to USB-A cable. Now moving on to the two small pockets, in the left pocket I keep my anchor wall charger that is also a power bank and this thing is awesome. This may be a little redundant but I also keep a super compact 65 watt charger that is also from anchor and this is the nano 2 charger. I mainly use the compact charger as my primary wall charger and use the big one as a power bank. And when I need to charge multiple devices at once, I plug in the big one into the wall. I could leave the small one behind but it doesn't really add too much weight to the bag so I've kept it in here. The next item that I keep in here is my Google Pixel Buds that I use all the time. Now the last thing that I keep in this pocket is my 6 foot 100 watt USB-C charging cable to charge my laptop with. And this is my favorite cable because it's so soft and flexible. 
Now moving on to the right pocket, this is where I keep my 8x5.5 inch notebook that I use for taking notes at work. I also keep this other smaller pocket notebook where I write down quick notes for my videos. Since this bag doesn't have a dedicated slot to slide in some pens in, you can just clip them onto the pockets. Now for the main open pocket, I didn't want to carry my big pencil pouch in here because it would take up too much space in the bag and it was already ripping, so I ended up buying a new one. This pencil pouch is slimmer and it looks nicer, it kind of goes with the bag better than my old one and it fits perfectly standing up on the corner here. This is also a great place to keep your sunglasses or reading glasses in. It fits perfectly standing up. Keeping the pencil pouch and sunglasses on the corner allows me to put in my 12.4 inch Samsung Tablet S8 Plus in the middle with the case on. I don't really carry this with me but I'm just showing you that it will fit. Now something that I do carry with me every now and then is my noise cancelling over the ear headphones when I really want to focus on what I am doing. So that is about everything that I keep in this main pocket. So let's go ahead and move on to the front pocket of the bag. This is a full length pocket that is not really intended on storing thick items. So in this pocket I like to keep a pack of mints and some gum. I also keep a chapstick in here that my wife recommended that I use. Now the last item that I keep in here is eye drops. Since I'm always in front of a computer 8 plus hours a day, my eyes tend to get dried often so this is good to have. Now going over to the back pocket, this is where I like to drop my wallet, my keys and my phone in when I'm in a hurry to get to my car or office. This pocket will fit a notebook or some thin folders and you can also slide in a 12.4 inch tablet in here, my Samsung Tab S8 Plus with a case fits in here. So I mostly keep this back pocket empty and reserved for my wallet, keys and phone. I really like that the bag stands on its own and I usually keep the zipper open when I have the bag underneath my desk at work. And this lets me quickly grab the items that I need because the pockets are really easy to get to. If you're thinking of replacing your backpack for a satchel to look more professional in the workplace, then I highly recommend you check out the Nutsack Jones 15. Alright guys, so that wraps up today's video. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to drop a like if you found the video helpful and subscribe to stay tuned for more tech videos and I will talk to you on the next one.